Ladies and gentlemen, brace yourselves for a truth bomb. Everything you thought you knew about reading women's attraction signals is probably wrong. That's right, fellas. Those magazines you've been sneaking peeks at in the checkout line, about as reliable as a weather forecast in Chicago. But don't worry, your old pals got your back. Buckle up, because we're about to dive into the real deal on decoding female attraction. No rose-colored glasses required. Listen up, guys. In a world where even ordering a coffee requires deciphering a novel-length menu, understanding attraction can feel like trying to crack the Da Vinci Code. But here's the kicker. It doesn't have to be that complicated. Just like reading the plays in your favorite football game, once you know what to look for, you'll be spotting signals faster than a quarterback on third down. Remember when your mama told you to look people in the eye when you're talking to them? Well, she was onto something. Eye contact is the MVP of attraction signals. But we're not talking about a casual glance here and there. We're talking about the kind of eye contact that makes you forget the rest of the bar exists. When a woman is interested, she'll look at you more often and for longer periods. It's like she's trying to memorize your face for a pop quiz later. And if you catch her looking at you, then quickly looking away, that's not just first grade shyness resurfacing. It's often a sign she's attracted but maybe a bit nervous. But here's the real touchdown move, the triangle gaze. If her eyes move from your eyes to your mouth and back up again, forming a triangle, you might just have scored. It's like she's subconsciously thinking about kissing you. Just don't stare back like a deer in headlights, all right? Keep it cool, like Joe Montana in the fourth quarter. Ever notice how when you're really vibing with someone, you start to sync up? Maybe you both reach for your drinks at the same time, or you find yourself leaning in when she does. This, my friends, is mirroring, and it's a telltale sign of attraction. When we like someone, we subconsciously start to copy their movements and postures. It's like our bodies are trying to say, Hey, we're on the same wavelength here. So if you notice she's starting to use similar gestures, or her body language is matching yours, it could be a good sign. But remember, this isn't about playing Simon Says. Don't start deliberately copying her every move like some kind of attraction puppet. That's just creepy, and we're aiming for charming here, not restraining order. All right, time to talk about touch. In our great American melting pot, we've got a wide range of comfort levels when it comes to physical contact. But in general, if a woman is finding excuses to touch you, it's often a green light. We're not talking about full-on bear hugs here. Think subtle. A light touch on the arm when she's laughing at your jokes. A playful shove when you tease her. Or the classic, oh, you've got something on your shirt move. Spoiler alert, there's probably nothing there. But here's the important part, gentlemen. This is not an invitation to turn into octopus man, respect personal boundaries. If she's comfortable initiating touch, great. But don't push it. Consent is key, always. Ever heard of personal space? Of course you have. We Americans love our bubble. So when someone willingly pops that bubble... It means something. If she's interested, she'll likely find reasons to get closer to you. Maybe she leans in when you're talking, even if the bar isn't that loud. Or perhaps she chooses the seat right next to you, even when there are other options available. But don't confuse this with crowded subway behavior. If she's squished next to you on a packed train, that's not a signal. That's just rush hour in New York. We're not talking about the polite smile you give your neighbor when you're both taking out the trash. We're talking about the kind of smile that lights up her whole face, the one that reaches her eyes and maybe even produces a little laugh. If she's giving you these genuine smiles, especially when you're not actively trying to be funny, let's face it, your dad jokes aren't that great. It's a good sign she's enjoying your company. But here's a pro tip. Don't just focus on her mouth. A genuine smile involves the whole face. The eyes crinkle, the cheeks lift. 
It's like the difference between a store-bought apple pie and your grandma's secret recipe. Both are pies, but one's got that special something. This one simple, but often overlooked. When we're interested in someone, we tend to face them. It's like our bodies are compass needles, and the person we're attracted to is magnetic north. If she's angled towards you, with her feet pointing in your direction, it's a good sign. But if she's constantly turning away, checking her phone, or seems more interested in the baseball game on the bar TV than your riveting story about your fantasy football league, well, you might want to call an audible on this play. All right, this one might seem straight out of a 90s teen movie, but hear me out. Playing with hair can be a sign of nervousness or attraction. If she's twirling her hair, flipping it over her shoulder, or just generally fussing with it more than usual, it could be a subconscious sign of interest. But don't go planning the wedding just yet. Some people are just fidgety. The key is to look for this in combination with other signals. One hair flip doesn't equal true love. A hair flip plus extended eye contact, plus leaning in close. Now we're talking. Here's the thing, guys. Body language is complex. It's not an exact science, and there's no one-size-fits-all rule book. What works in a sports bar in Texas might not fly in a coffee shop in Seattle. The key is to look for clusters of these signals. One sign on its own doesn't mean much. But if you're seeing several of these signals consistently, that's when you know you might have a real connection brewing. Conclusion. At the end of the day, the best way to know if someone's attracted to you is wait for it to actually talk to them. Revolutionary, I know. All these body language cues are just clues, not guarantees. They're the opening drive not the whole game. Remember, every person is unique. What attracts one person might repel another. The most important thing is to be yourself, be respectful, and be attentive. Pay attention to the signals, sure, but also listen to what she's saying. Engage in genuine conversation. Show interest in her as a person, not just a collection of attraction signals. And if all else fails, just ask her, in the land of the free and the home of the brave, there's something to be said for good old-fashioned straightforwardness. It might feel scarier than a fourth and goal with no time left on the clock, but sometimes you've just got to go for it. So there you have it, guys. Your playbook for deciphering attraction signals. Use it wisely. Use it ethically. And may the odds be ever in your favor. Now get out there and show and what you're made of